Pakistan's capital city is set to receive another 500 black cabs made right here in Coventry by the London Taxi Company. Three years ago, they ordered 1,000 purple-coloured TX4s and they were shipped out to Baku in time for the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest. None of them won, unfortunately, but there you go. Uh, let's talk to the chief exec of the London Taxi Company, uh, Vice President of UK Operations, Peter Johansson, joins me live in the studio. Morning, Peter. Morning, Shane. And congratulations. I mean, you know, we were talking not so long ago about, well, what's the future going to look like? What's the order book look like? And you were saying, well, you know, we're going to have to build on this. This is, what, now 1,500 out to Azerbaijan. That's right. They've really enjoyed using the taxi. They've been in use for over three years. They've proved reliable. They've done uh, everything that they wanted to. They've got the European Games coming up in 2015. So they've ordered uh, 500, and we hope to have another 500 after that if we're lucky. They're, it was a leap of faith. And I mean, 1,000 in one go is a heck of I mean, you don't get those kind of orders every day, do you? Well, if you look at the uh, London market, uh, taxis there last forever. And, uh, you know, we, it is a good vehicle, and people, it's a difficult environment out there. The roads are rough in, the, in parts of Baku. And, uh, they wanted something that they knew they could rely upon, and they bought the London taxi. Is this going to open up new markets for them? I mean, we talk about China, and we talk about you know some of the some of the other uh, countries in in uh, developing markets for us. But what Eastern Europe? Oh yeah, I mean Eastern Europe's a very exciting market, and I, I, I am travelling quite a bit out that part of the way at the moment. <laughs> And uh, I think this will be the first of uh, a number of orders that we hope to close this year, and uh, it does look good. And what about the TX5? I know we talk about this every time. We're all we're all bated breath waiting for the TX5 to come out. Well, I've actually seen one, and it's uh, it, we've got a prototype uh, going to be on the roads in and around London for development purposes by the end of the year. Uh, it's going. It's a great vehicle. It looks very similar to the current taxi but with all the modern acumens that you'd like to see in a, a fantastic world-class uh, vehicle. Are you worried about, the? we know, again, the last time you and I talked, I think we were talking about some of the other vehicles that are, that are vying for a position in London, in the London market. And, of course, it would be ironic, wouldn't it, if you're all around the world, apart from London, it's the London taxi. You kind of think, well, that that's, that's, would be a bit of a shame. How is competition in uh, the London, capital? London are great people. The London taxi drivers love our vehicle. Um, I had the best month since 2008 in terms of sales in March. Um, because the London taxi drivers have come flocking back and they're buying our, our car in uh, in unprecedented numbers. So it's been really good for us, and we're very pleased to see that. And, and, and what about here? What about in the city? Because there have been some issues about some of the drivers were a bit upset that they were forced, they felt they were forced to buy your vehicle, and they weren't doing it by choice. Is that still an issue? No, I don't think so. I think Coventry is uh, a, a great city, and we've had tremendous support from uh, Martin Yardley at the uh, City Council over our development plans. I think... Uh, Everybody in Coventry should be proud of the London taxi, and I'm sure the taxi drivers are as well. Is this going to mean more jobs? Yes, I think so. In the, uh, you know, looking for to the future now, we're really working up. Uh, we're going to be selling uh, the new TX5 in tens of thousands rather than thousands. So yeah. it's going to be more jobs, not only at our place, but also uh, some of our main suppliers. More of the parts will be made in the Greater West Midlands. So it's a good news story for all of us. Final question. I don't know whether you can answer it. Why purple? Why do they? Why do they mean purple? Is it just their choice of colour? Well, or Caspian Sea region they've uh, i was out there and uh, some of the old parts of the town they use uh, a mosaic and uh, and they seem to have a local stone which is a purpley blue and the oh. the cab actually complements that purpley blue so it's uh, it's a bit of it's like the uh, local local color so it looks great actually in the oh, in the it. in the hot sun fantastic congratulations well done to all we give them our best will you when you go back to the factory all the people i know have been working hard to uh, to make this happen uh, Peter, good to talk to you again. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, next time I see you, bring a TX5 with you, will you? Uh, that's the uh, Executive Vice President UK Operations for the London Taxi Company, Peter Johansson, joining me live in the studio.